Welcome to the Block 20 report coverage of the Blockchain Global Expo. I'm your host Crypto and this is Ben Flint with me, the COO of Eula. Eula. <laughs> So welcome. Thank you. And thank you for your time. No problem. Is there anything you want to specifically tell us about your company or introduce your company first, I assume? Sure, yeah. We're um, a bunch of five entrepreneurs who are all based in Singapore. Uh, we are tackling what is quite a fun industry. It's the TV and film industry. Um, what's fun about it is the, the kind of the, the B2B part of it the part before those TV pictures reach your TV screens, your Netflix account, whatever, uh, is a very, very old fashioned industry. Uh, hasn't changed since TV was black and white. Uh, the way that they trade, the way that the buyers and the sellers, the creators of content trade with those broadcasters like the BBC or Netflix. So we're trying to, I wouldn't say disrupt, I think that's a more negative word. We're trying to make the industry more efficient in the way that they trade with one another and also trying to help them with some of the kind of the back office jobs that they need to perform a bit more efficiently. Again, they're, they're working in a very kind of decentralized way and we're trying to make it easier for them using the blockchain. Fair. And uh, how do you specifically do that? So there's two pieces to the puzzle. One is uh, pretty simplistic marketplace technology, um, a bit like, if you will, an Airbnb, where we're bringing together two sides of, a, of, a, of an industry and getting them to discover one another, search, negotiate, transact. Underneath that, we're building uh, a bunch of uh, dApps, effectively, where we're, we're importing data which is uh, Hollywood approved by all the big studios and the Amazons and the Apples and the Google Plays. And that piece fixes, again, that back office function of having things like unique serial IDs for a piece of content, uh, the metadata, the stuff that uh, you see on the screen when you power up your Netflix and you want to browse into the next house of cards, all that information, that's a complete mess and we're going to help unify all of that. Um, we're also going to be, we've got the other part of our token which we're, we're launching in a few weeks um, through our ICO, uh, is going to be a consumer facing piece which fixes as I was just saying, that metadata, the stuff that comes up in the program guide, we're going to get the crowd to either create that metadata, refine the metadata, or translate the metadata. And for those actions, we're going to reward them with tokens, and that's the view token. So that's another dimension to what we're doing, as well as the, the kind of the B2B marketplace piece. Okay. Perfect. So that'll be the whole benefit. You would receive tokens for helping you out or the, what other benefits are there to the new improved version? The For the B2B side, for the commercial marketplace, we're not expecting the BBCs and the Netflixes to start transacting in the view token just next week when we switch it on. Um, but further down the road, we're, we're future proofing for that. At the moment, they can transact in USD, SGD, Euros, whichever currency they wish. But the the part where I was talking about the consumers and we're going to effectively reward them for their knowledge and love of TV, film and sport, that's where we're going to be, up until now, you know, these, these fans of TV and film, they're, they're giving their knowledge for free. And there's a few platforms out there that cre cu uh, curate this knowledge. Think of it like a Wikipedia, but um, there are other platforms, it's not Wikipedia. But at the moment, they're just doing it for the love of it. What we're going to do is give them a financial benefit, and it's uh, they can what they can do with that that financial reward, which is the token, effectively. They can then park that with Vueler under a smart contract, and we will multiply their tokens for the duration of time that they they park it, and for the amount of actions they take. So, really a crude maths, but the more actions they take, the more metadata they refine or create, and the longer they park it with us, the more tokens we'll give them. Sounds pretty good to me. Dead simple. And everyone's, yeah. everyone, everyone's a fan of TV and movies, right? Uh, my question is with the rights, because obviously with TV and sports, there's a lot of rights involved. And how would you go about getting that? Would you need to get them? Or That's effectively, you know, if you think of it like an Airbnb equivalency, um, the homeowner owns the property and they own the rights to that property. So it's up to them to sell it and list it in exactly the same fashion a, uh, a content owner who owns that intellectual property, if they if they have the rights to list it on our platform, then they go ahead and list it for free. Uh, the commercials are very simple. They can list for free. Uh, we take a, a transaction, a commission only on the transaction, only on success. 
uh, the buyers of the content, it's free for them forever. They can just register for free. So, you know, when it comes to the rights, it's, it's, it almost uh, it self-polices. So that basically sounds to me like a non-profit company or close to, because you sign up for free, you get tokens, or how will that work? You, 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 you're pretty shrewd in that one. So there's, <laughs> there's, there's going to be a profitable part of our business and also a non-profit part. So the marketplace is going to be profit making. You know, buyers and sellers transacting through our platform, we take a commission, plain and simple. The supply chain piece that I was saying, where we're building these D apps, the, the metadata, the availability of content, the, the unique content IDs, <clears throat> excuse me, that will be run on a non-profit basis. Uh, it's almost like we, ju we just want to recover the costs of, uh, of operationalizing all of that. Because those tools are going to help those broadcasters and content creators do their job more effectively. So it's kind of like we're giving back to the industry. And so we just want to re cost recover. Um, and then when it comes to the fans and monetizing their, uh, their love of TV and film and sport, those rewards are going to be coming out of our profits. So the marketplace, and the profits we make there are going to feed the rewards program that feeds those fans of TV and movies for doing the, the, taking those actions on our platform. So, yeah, we're giving, we're giving a bit back to the community, the, the fans of, that are out there, the fans of TV and film and sport. Perfect. I mean... <laughs> Um, what will be your next big project that's coming up or what will be your next vision that you would want to realize? Well, we've just got one focus in mind, which is in three weeks, the, uh, our TG, our token generating event. We're, and then once we get beyond that, um, then hopefully we can just kick on and run the business. Um, we're all itching to do that, to be honest. We're all, we're all businessmen and women. Uh, we love the, you know, the, the cut and thrust of running a business. and. Obviously, the, 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 our, our token and the, the ICO is, is a means to that end. So that's our number one goal at the moment. Our five-year goal is to convert actually a very small percentage of the industry and how it transacts in a very analog way today, like at trade shows and uh, over the phone and through Excel spreadsheets and whatnot. Um, we only want to convert about a, you know, 0.3 of a percent of that $300 billion economy onto our platform for us to be able to have a to transact in five years' time, we hope $1.5 billion worth of content and sponsorship rights. And if we're taking 10% of that, that's a successful business. So that's our five-year goal. Yeah, I would say so. Is there anything else you want to say to the viewers? Any plans? Any future thoughts? Well, I mean, obviously, if, if people listening to this like the idea of us, you know, fixing a big global... $300 billion problem and they also happen to be uh, a lover of TV or film or sport then we would love them to participate in our token generating event uh, and stick with us for the long run. Um, we're a bona fide business that happens to be using blockchain to, to basically fix a very very big fun industry. Perfect, thank you very much.